News 8 is once again partnering with our parent company Tagna to give grants to Quad City organizations. The Hallberg Civic Center receiving $2,000 to fix up the mansion's carriage house. And News 8's Jenna Webster now explains the big plans the center has to open the space for events and for children. It's new tonight on News 8 at 5. So what's going to happen here? The carriage house at the Hallberg Estate. So it's really a neat room is getting a bit of an update. So this door will go right where it's at. Including new doors and radiators. All the walls have been painted. But some things remain the same. The original air compressor that still works. <laughs> and executive director Deb Kunsi says there's big plans for it once it's done. Monday through Friday, the plan is to use it for a preschool outdoor nature play. And then on the weekends, it'll be used for receptions, uh, birthday parties, reunions. That's in this room, the old auto house. Kunsi says a daycare wants to start a new program for kids here. It'd be a great program. I mean, we have ponds, we have a garden, we have, you know, we have Hauberg Field over there that they can play on. There's also plans for a children's art garden. Hauberg has always been a community space for Rock Island. It just keeps getting better and better. But all that costs money. The sprinkler system alone is like, what, 12000 A $2,000 grant from Tegna will help fund part of this remodel and a local family recently set up an endowment for the center. It takes a lot off of our shoulders. It's a huge validation for us that someone in the community appreciates what we're doing. The Hauberg Estate coming a long way from almost being sold five years ago. We're very grateful. In Rock Island, Jenna Webster, WQAD News 8. If someone can get it done, it'll be Deb. And the other side of the carriage house is being turned into a kitchen, a bar, and a gift shop. The second floor apartment is going to be used as a long-term corporate rental. The Hallberg Center hopes to have the space ready for events by summer, but other work will be ongoing through 2025.